Hello and welcome everyone to another stage design tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to see how we can use I.O. commands like keyboard, MIDI and DMX to trigger sets and patches that we have and to use these playback functions using um, DMX, keyboard, MIDI and so on and so forth. So for this, I've created already a number of patches and each of them have a number of videos in them and they are ready to be used in my show. First thing, I would try to connect these patches and these playback functions with my key keyboard and MIDI. So for that, I would go to settings, input and output, the first tab I have here, and I would select keyboard here. Basically what I need to do is that I need to define an event and here I can connect a keyboard button to this event. So in this case, I connected number five and then I go down in this list and here I can come down to the set receiver and then connect any of these functions to this keyboard five. So these ones I can use with keyboard and MIDI and these ones I would need for DMX connections. So I would just select any of these, pass value is correct, I click on apply and I have connected the keyboard five to this next function in my set. So I can basically do that with all of these functions, keyboard one, two, three, four, five. And when I click apply and okay, now I can use my keyboard to basically navigate in this number of patches and I can play different ones using these buttons that I just assigned. And the same concept is also valid for MIDI. If I go to MIDI from this event, I can connect my MIDI device, I can click on any of the MIDI buttons that I have and by learn, I can already assign that button and from this list, I can select which of these um, functions I would need to assign to that keyboard, uh, to that MIDI button. So, the next thing would be if I would want to use the DMX. The DMX works or relates itself into this DMS, DMX trigger number that I give. And in order to use that, of course, I have to activate my DMX. When I come to the DMX menu, I have a number of options available, different protocols that I can send DMX with. In this case, I'm using SACN, so I activate it and I have the SACN View app, which is a free app, that I can send DMX values inside the computer and I can read these values on Stage Designer. So what I would need to do is that I would need to set these um, trigger indexes, this, these DMX values which I have here, and I would need to go to my MIDI keyboard events and here I would navigate to the DMX menu and here I can start mapping these um, playback functions with and connecting them with these different indexes that I have here. For example, in this case, I have the DMX1 on, on my universe one and on channel one I, have, I am sending a patch indexed play, so I'm sending the playback of any of the received number of this index. So for the second one, I am using it on channel two of my first universe, the same index, but this time a stop value. So when I click on apply and OK, I can do the same with more functions, for example, pause, active and so on. And each of them I would need to put on a different channel. 
And once I click OK, then I would come to my SACN view software. I have selected the universe one. I have selected the channel one. And now I can use these values as indexes to activate these um, patches that I have. So patch zero I am sending right now and I go to patch number one. The patch which has the index one is going to be played and so on and so forth. So with this I can easily play these patches or trigger them and if I want to use the pause I can here select the channel 2 of my DMX universe 1 and I can pause any of these that I would want. So in case I have a DMX device and I have all of these channels available and these universes I can simply select them and assign them here. I don't need to assign each single ones. I just need to do the indexes here down inside the patch and just select the channel that I'm using and the function that I would like to assign to this channel. So for each channel I can use either one of these functions and then on that channel each of these indexes are going to be connected with a DMX value. And that's how it is to connect DMX or use MIDI or keyboard to navigate or use these playback functions to play my show using the set function in Stage Designer and to control the software remotely. I hope you're enjoying using the software and these tutorials and hope to see you in another one.